I didn't actually choose to live in Kentish Town. Kentish Town <coughs> uh, chose me in the sense that um, I wanted to live in this area, somewhere around North London, North West London, and <coughs> my wife actually knew this street that I live in, and uh, we heard about this house coming up for auction from some friends who lived next door. And at the time, which was the mid 80s, late 80s, uh, getting a house in auction was the only way we would have been able to afford to get somewhere around here. Uh, and um, it also had a sitting tenant in, uh, Fred, who was a, a bit of a local legend actually. A very interesting man, somebody ought to write a book about him. And he, he lived with us for 10 years. The street party was an initiative of my son's, actually. He's a very idealistic young man, and he wanted to start something that brought people together. He's very, he's very, links in the community were, were all very important to him, and uh, he felt we all ought to know each other, and that people behave better if, if they know each other and they're answerable to each other. So he went round knocking on all the doors in the street, um, asked people what they thought about it, asked for support, and we helped him organise the first one, and then we took it on because he let he went to university. So we organised the first two or three or four, I can't remember, and then and then we got help, and then the street came in. We've got other organisers and others. We've got a team of people now who take it on. And it slots into place every year in a rather brilliant way because everyone's got a designated task that they know. They've got a predetermined template that they know about and everyone mucks in, fantastic food, get banned in. And the upshot is that people in the street know each other and you know where people live and it's a very nice feeling knowing the people in your street. My family... Uh, we live here with the three sons. I've got a daughter who doesn't live in the area. Uh, and uh, one of my sons is coming back to live with me. Louis, who's, who's made this film. Uh, he's just graduated from the Westminster Film School and he's written this film called 47 Orchard Street about a Jewish family in New York in the 1930s. It's a marvellous piece of work, actually. Um, though I obviously would be biased. And he's just uh, setting out on... Uh, path to be a scriptwriter. Raised funds for it from various sources. They all, they went and did some work in, in, in some of the supermarkets. Um, he raised it from generous neighbours and friends and relatives. I don't know how much he raised or, or how much but the film's done, so he must have raised enough. But I, I am doing a play at the Globe at, at, um, at the moment. Two plays at Richard III and um, Twelfth Night which is on there till October, and then it's transferring to the Apollo Theatre uh, in, um, in the West End in, in November, three months. It's politicised by C&D, really, as a student, and I've sort of gone on marches ever since then. And I'd like to see less of these uh, chain shops coming up in Kentish Town. I'm very depressed at the, the way your, your Tesco and your pret a and your Sainsbury's and the rest of them are all... There's another one that, you know, they're all, these coffee shops are taking over from the local little shops and people are being forced out by the rents. And that's kind of depressing because it's a real, it used to be, it still is, but not so much. There used to be really rich sort of variety of independent traders there. And they're, they're, it's been difficult for them to make a living. And I don't want to see Kentish Town High Road just become like another main street anywhere in England. It could be, it could be interchanged. Um, and mistaken for any other one. So, um, I don't know, that, I hope that doesn't happen in this specific area. We could have more buses, we, but that's pretty, that's m much more important. The Heath is, is a real joy. You can sort of almost pretend you're in the country when you're in the Heath, and you know, it's not too busy, you can sort of get lost there. There are an awful lot of characters you see around here. That's, I like living here for that reason. There's a mix, a cosmopolitan mix of people, um, a real rich sort of scene. Of, different kinds of people who live here, various characters that you see in the street. Um, Fred, who used to live here, used to be one of them.